since the late 1940s, Americans have been fascinated by a mysterious region in Nevada known as Area 51. What exactly goes on at Area 51? The Area 51. Area 51. Area 51. The Air Force has recently made public an archive of UFO reports and investigations. Are there any alien remains in... Today, we are delving into one of the most enigmatic and talked about places in the world, Area 51. But hold on. We're not just going to rehash conspiracy theories. We're going beyond the myths to uncover the true history behind this secretive location. So buckle up and let's dive deep into Area 51. Through the 1950s, UFO sightings become the convenient cover-up for U-2 flights. But on May 1st, 1960, America's top secret spying mission is blown. When the USSR downs a high-flying U-2, before we embark on this historical journey, let's set the stage. Area 51, also known as Grim Lake, is a remote detachment of Edwards Air Force Base in Nevada. Established in the 1950s, its purpose was initially shrouded in secrecy, giving birth to countless conspiracy theories. To understand Area 51, we need to rewind to the Cold War era. The United States was in the midst of an arms race with the Soviet Union and technological advancements were top-secret matters. In the shadow of this geopolitical tension, Area 51 was born. Its primary mission was the development and testing of cutting-edge aircraft, particularly the infamous U-2 spy plane. The U-2, designed by Lockheed's Skunk Works Division, was a high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft capable of flying at altitudes unreachable by enemy aircraft and radar. This groundbreaking technology played a pivotal role during the Cold War, providing crucial intelligence for the United States. This project was to back engineer the alien craft. I went into the hangar door, and in the hangar door was the disc, the flying saucer that I worked on. Reports that strange flying discs have been whizzing at 1,200 miles an hour over the western United States. The conspiracy theories surrounding Area 51 from UFO sightings to extraterrestrial experimentation, the speculative narratives have fueled public imagination for decades. But what's the real story behind these claims? Contrary to popular belief, there's no concrete evidence supporting the existence of extraterrestrial activity at Area 51. In fact, many alleged UFO sightings can be attributed to the testing of experimental aircraft, like the aforementioned U-2 which appeared as unidentified flying objects to onlookers. Area 51's mysterious aura has permeated popular culture, making appearances in movies, TV shows, and even video games. From Independence Day to The X-Files, the mystique surrounding the base has become a cultural phenomenon. But how much of it is rooted in reality? CIA pilot Francis Gary Powers was shot out of the sky in his U-2 his aircraft destroyed. Years of hard-won secrecy for the U.S. intelligence community were wiped out in a moment. As we transition into the 1960s and 70s, Area 51 continued to play a crucial role in aviation history. The A-12, successor to the U-2, and its derivative, the SR-71 Blackbird, were developed and tested here. The SR-71 roared skyward with maximum afterburner thrust. A legendary pilot was taking the first ever flight in a legendary airplane. These iconic aircraft pushed the boundaries of speed and altitude, solidifying Area 51's reputation as a hub for cutting-edge aerospace technology. Newly released CIA documents officially acknowledge the site for the first time. But if you're looking to gain insight into aliens or spaceships, you might be disappointed. In recent years, the U.S. government has declassified several documents related to Area 51, acknowledging its existence and detailing its historical role. This transparency has helped dispel some of the mystery surrounding the base, but questions and controversies still persist. There were a lot of different uh, data sets that came in that uh, we looked at, tried to figure out what they were. There were some that turned out to be weather balloons, for example. Uh, in fact, there were several. Uh, but there were many that there is not enough data and sensor data. We had a lot of sensor data on some of them that, uh, that we couldn't determine what they are. Area 51's history is a fascinating tale of innovation 
secrecy, and yes, a bit of Hollywood glam. While the conspiracy theories have added an air of intrigue, it's essential to separate fact from fiction. Area 51 remains a symbol of human ingenuity and the lengths nations go to protect their technological advancements. Thank you for joining me on this journey beyond the conspiracy. If you enjoyed this deep dive into history, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more captivating content, and ring that notification bell to stay updated. Until next time.